Okay, so here we've got, we've been asked here in part A to calculate the perimeter of this star, okay? And um, we need to appreciate here that we've got a triangle created. And if I do the next triangle there, it will be exactly the same. We'd have 7 then and 10 here, okay? Right? That's how a star works. It's sort of, sort of symmetrical in, in that sense, yeah? So we just need to focus on one triangle here and appreciate it as a triangle. I can actually work out that angle as well, okay? I can determine what that angle is. And if I can find that angle, I can then use the cosine rule to get x, okay? Now you might wonder, how on earth am I going to get that angle? Well, if I think about drawing in all the other triangles, okay, we can see how many triangles there are going to be, okay, for the whole star. And the fact that there's a nine-pointed star is a bit of a clue, right? Let's just go halfway with it, okay? Because I can just double it then. How many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah? Nine. Nine of these angles on one side, okay? But there's going to be another nine on this side, okay? So you've got nine equal angles here, and another nine equals the angles here. So 18 angles. And of course, it's, a, it's going to be a full turn when you go all the way around. So I'm going to need to do 360 divided by... 18 okay and i get then out on my calculator 20 degrees okay so i've got the angle there by splitting up the circle 18 times so now we can use the cosine rule and it looks a little bit messy with, with what i've done there so maybe i'll just redraw this out okay so i've got 10 here seven there okay and i've got 20 degrees here right so um the cosine rule then right well i want to find this side okay so maybe i'll call this um little a right and this will be angle a here okay this then will be little b angle b there and this will be little c here, angle c there okay opposite obviously okay now i mean all i'm interested in doing is finding a yeah because a represents my length x there Okay, so using the cosine rule, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So a squared then, now a, we, we know that as x, right? So we can call it x squared, equals b squared, which is 10 squared, plus c squared, which is 7 squared. Take away 2 times 10 times 7 times cos 20. Okay, so I just work all that out on my calculator on the right-hand side. 10 squared plus 7 squared take away 2 times 10 times 7 times cos 20 and I get 17.443 etc and then to get x then I just need to square root that answer so square root the answer and I get out 4.2 centimeters